Hey all, welcome to No More Nuisance. I'm your Rak, and the topic for the day is What is the cost of quality? Around the world, the meaning of quality is picking and choosing the right one and rejecting the rest. In a non professional context, there are no limitations on the use of the term quality, and the meaning also varies. However, when this term is to be applied in the quality management, we have to develop a more specific definition to avoid misunderstandings. Some may perceive quality as luxury. No, quality does not mean luxury. Quality does not necessarily mean a product building or a service provided to a very high standards. Let's take example of a product. As long as the seller specification is there and the buyer is satisfied, then the product is a quality product. Some people think quality is expensive, but the quality is expensive is a myth. Quality itself does not add to the cost, but the lack of quality certainly does. So we talk in terms of cost of poor quality or COPQ. So the lack of quality is definitely an added cost. Let us understand the meaning of quality. Let's look at the definition of ASO 9000. Class 3.1.1, which defines quality as degree to which a set of inherent characteristics fulfills requirements. So this definition relates to satisfying customers and other interested parties such as the regulators. Customer satisfaction includes stated and implied needs. Stated may be clearly stated and implied may not be stated but has to be understood in accordance with the context. Quality relates to product processes or system or combination thereof within an organization. The requirements include those of the customers, other stakeholders, the organization as a whole, and the legal entities as well. The quality of a product or a service may be a result of the quality of the raw materials, the design, the processes involved, associated work operations, the people involved in the operations, the work environment, so on and so forth. There could be many more attributes to the quality of a product or a service. So most of you might have heard statements like up to 20% of a company's cost or quality related costs. But in reality, quality is free. It is not the quality that is cost, but the lack of quality is definitely cost. The understanding of quality as a management area and the impact of quality related on the competitiveness of the organization has greatly increased of late. Managers have realized that gaining control over quality related costs is an important factor in being competitive. Uh, now, it, quality is more of a game of survival. Now, let us look us into some of the traditional quality related costs. There are preventive costs. For example, the training for a quality management system is a preventive cost in terms of quality. There are some appraisal costs. For example, the auditing or inspection, which reveals a lot of quality issues, is an appraisal cost. There are also internal failure costs like repair, rework and scrap. All these are internal failure costs. There are also external failure costs 
such as the warranty claims or sometimes even the loss of customers as well. One must understand here that the preventive costs are related to activities, keeping failure and costs related to inspection and testing at a minimum. Hope you enjoyed this vlog related to the cost of quality or the cost of poor quality.